I just got a tip that there are bots at the rogue castle thieving the chests. This area recently just got updated with big loot buffs. Looting the chests with no diaries is worth on average 4.8k, and with the hard worldly diary it increases another 25%. And the XP from thieving a chest was buffed from 100 XP to 700 XP. The wiki quotes the GP per hour as 2.7 million new bots with potentially huge amounts of loot in the wilderness. I mean, I dropped everything and started scouting worlds. The first account I find is a level 50 and as I watch, it drops its prayer and suicides to the level 135 rogues. The stats are all level 30 to 50 except 87 thieving. I hop to the next world, another level 58, similar stats except 96 thieving. And about 10 seconds later, it also dropped its prayer and suicided. And we'll investigate it more right after this. By now you've probably heard of Opera GX. It recently just got a lot better with GX mods, which you can get from the GX store. There's all sorts of functionalities to these mods, like background music, keyboard sounds, opening and closing tab sounds customized theme and colors of the browser. Now there are tons of mods to choose from on the GX store. Here are some examples. There's a RuneScape mod that has a Cerberus inspired animated wallpaper and when you open and close tabs, it plays the sound of a door opening and closing in RuneScape. The other biggest reason I use Opera GX is because other browsers hog your resources, but Opera GX gives you a control panel to limit the amount of CPU or RAM usage I allow my browser to use. Opera GX also now has native integration with generative AI. It's as easy as clicking on Aria in the sidebar and typing in a question. Opera GX is also equipped with an import tool that allows you to quickly import all your settings from your previous browser to Opera GX, like browsing history, bookmarks, and cookies. So use my link in the description to download Opera GX today. Thanks to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. We're back and we've seen two kind of sus accounts so far. The next world, another level 58. This one suicides almost immediately when I log in. Same stats, same behaviors. So I'm pretty sure I've found the bots. I geared up a peer pretty quickly and scouted a level 64 in monk robes looting all three chests. It seems like it might be a slightly different script if this is a bot. As soon as I come into frame, the level 64 drops its prayer and instantly dies to the rogues. What's interesting is all these bots were on low HP when I scouted them. I later saw a bot run back to the chests and before looting, they purposefully dropped their prayer and got to low HP. They can't teleport out up here and they can't log out because they're in combat with the rogues. So they purposefully get down on low HP and if any player that can attack them logs in, they immediately drop their prayer and suicide to the rogues. Since it's not a PvP death, it's a PvM death, all their loot is just sent to death and they're low enough level where they're not charged much if any GP for collecting their items. I tested it with a couple more of them by running into view on my peer. That's unfortunately very clever of the scripter because it's also a good banking method since the bank is so far away. By the way, I also found a level 32 with 94 thieving here. Seems like there are lots of types of bots up to mid level 60s combat are botting this. Then I log into another world and something is very different. There are no rogues, there's a level 31 bot, and there are two real players chatting. All the rogues are stuck behind a corner on the eastern side. Then a lower level major logs in and the bot immediately flicks off and then back on its prayer, but there are no rogues to kill it. This new account named Cumlord6000 lazily one hits the bot. Cumlord6000 is playing 3D chess. I had to talk to this guy. Turns out Cumlord is also soul is sold, one of the higher level players leaving the chess on that world. And on the spot, I'm just like, hey, I'm Sir Pugger, what's your Discord? Would you be willing to chat? His Discord starts with Ghostface for more context. And I add him and hop on a call all within like 45 seconds of me seeing him outsmart that bot. Ghostface, oh. what's up? Dude, are you, wait, are you actually Sir Pugger? Yes, man, this is me, Sir Pugger. I wasn't expecting the real Sir Pugger to be here. Dude, I wasn't expecting the real Cum Lord 6000 to be here. <laughs> well, it's me. Surprise. I'm gonna go grab a D spear, but what you're telling me is you can spear the rogues into there and it breaks yeah. the bot script? Yep. I am so happy that I saw you kill that bot. Well, I have the formula because I've been here since uh, the update. When did you start seeing the bots? I, I hopped through a few worlds and there's one on like most worlds. Like two days ago ish? Oh, it's so it's like brand new, basically. Yeah, they're still in in the making, and they're pretty damn broken. Like, they mess up all the time now. Okay, so let's 
back up briefly before we get into Ghostface's method for breaking the bots and why he was doing that. So you can pretty easily kill these bots if you're quick enough. Just scout them on an account that can't attack them and then log in and make sure you immediately click on them as the rogues kill them and you'll get the loot. It's basically guaranteed if you hop on when they're actually in the chest looting animation since damage is delayed and you can definitely get a hit on them before the rogues kill them making it a PvP death. I killed around 30 like this, and the loot is underwhelming. It averages at around 50k or so. Ghostface also sent me screenshots of his roughly 10 mil loot from killing these bots over the last couple days. It seems as though either there are so many PKers that the bots never collect that much loot before we find them, or the scripter has set the GP amount that triggers the bots to bank to be like 100 or 150k, which would seem pretty inefficient but then again, it also does limit the amount of GP PKers get from killing the bots, disincentivizing us from farming them repeatedly. By the way, I think this was just a coincidence, but check this clip out where I scout a bot for Ghostface to kill. Kinda creepy. Oh, there's a level 18. Oh, I can barely not attack him. 484, he's on the right chest right now. Move to the left chest. 484. Ah, oh, he just killed himself. Wow. Before, he killed himself before you logged in. Yeah, some of them have been doing that. Wait, that's kind of sus. Yeah. Okay, back to Ghostface's method to break the script. So you can de-spear all the rogues into this one corner of this one room, and they kind of bug out and get stuck there. And if there are no rogues, there is no way for the bots to suicide when a PKer logs in. They drop their prayer, but nothing happens. So Ghostface figured he was going to be thieving here for a while anyway so he might as well de-spear all the rogues into the room and let bots just keep looting the chest in the same world his main was on. Since there was no way for the bot to bank or escape from a PKer, Ghostface can just lazily kill the bot on his ult while he continues to loot the chests. There are enough bots running where pretty quickly a bot will hop into the world Ghostface's main is on and all the rogues are trapped and start looting. It's absolutely genius. He's basically found a way to manipulate the bots to work for him while he continues to train. He doesn't have to actively hunt them, he just sets a trap to break them. Give Ghostface a huge shout out in the comments. Here I kill the first bot that got trapped, and it's an abnormally large amount of loot, 107k. The second bot, interestingly, came to this world after banking, and so it was stuck because it couldn't drop its hit points down below whatever threshold is coded to then start looting the chests. Remember, these bots drop their hit points first by letting rogues attack them before they put their prayer up so that they can die very quickly if they see a PKer. Ghostface figured this out, and when that would happen, Ghostface would usually kick the bots until they were low enough hit points level and then the bots would start thieving the chests. Here though, I do accidentally kick the bot to death, which I don't think anyone will be too upset about. Ultimately, I don't see this being a long-term popular bot spot. It's impossible to stop PKers from killing you here, and unlike the rev caves, there's really only one small spot for PKers to check. Plus, it's multi. So even if there were high level bots with tank gear, a small team could hunt them down pretty easily. And the only way I see to combat all of this is to bank incredibly frequently, decreasing the PVP loot, but that also greatly reduces the GP per hour. After further investigation, I found multiple scripts that were recently launched to thieve the rogue's chest, and I was sent this screenshot of one of the scripts showing the bot getting around 800k GP per hour, but the botter also mentioned in the post it would be closer to 1.6 mil, but the botter was getting PK'd a lot. That was probably Ghostface. What is going on? Am I missing something here? I got multiple tips that there are basically cooking bots in the rogues den that seem to be cooking extra fast. This clip isn't sped up at all. They're pretty easy to spot since they're literally cooking at like three or five times the normal cooking rate. I found three in about 15 worlds, so not the largest bot farm out there, but they all had about 35 million cooking XP when I found them with basically no other stats, just combat level 17s. So the real question is, what are they cooking? I mean, cooking is a fast skill in terms of XP per hour, but let's dig into it and see if we can figure it out because I started tracking the accounts on Wise Old Man and all three are getting between nine to 14 million cooking XP per day. And they take breaks too because I noticed the XP rate is a bit variable throughout the day I updated one more frequently and saw the rates change So they're getting something like 600k to 900k cooking XP per hour using a fire Depending on how many breaks they're taking and this is usually enough to put them in the top 10 accounts for daily cooking XP gained now the wiki says you can get up to 490k cooking XP per hour with summer pies 
but you lose over 500 kgp per hour doing that no reason to bot it anglerfish and sharks are 300 to 330 k xp per hour and they can be 300 kgp per hour too but the xp rates don't line up unless they've literally found a bug in the game and are able to cook sharks you know three times as fast as what should be possible. So I asked a few other players, and one of them came up with the idea that they're perfectly one tick kerwamwam cooking, which can be up to 900k cooking XP per hour and 900k GP per hour, which would make it actually a very consistent moneymaker. And since they're bots, they don't mess up a single tick. This is obviously much more difficult for humans to do as it involves some crazy clicking for hours on end. And just to confirm, I reached out to the anti-cheating team at Jagex and they told me definitely Karamwam cooking bots, and they're definitely taking advantage of this script to perfectly one tick. Mystery busted. Normally Karamwams are like 250k XP per hour and 240k GP per hour. So their tick manipulation is actually getting them between three to four times more XP and GP. Pretty crazy stuff. I got a tip that there are some bots in a relatively out of the way money maker and that they've been there a long time. These bots are underneath Morton killing Urium Shades. They're in full obsidian with a dragon defender and a whip and have around 800 total level, but roughly 30 million XP each in attack, strength, and defense. They're using shared XP on the whip. 120 million melee XP total. They also have 90-ish fire making. You need 80 fire making just to access this area. Now the wiki says it's about 725k per hour and 72,000 combat experience per hour to kill Urium Shades. That's about a 10 to 1 GP to XP ratio, which we can use to easily estimate how much each of these bots have made. 120 million combat XP translates to 1.2 billion GP per bot. It also means they've been botting here for around 1600 hours, assuming this is the primary way they've gained melee XP. I found a few with closer to 150 million combat XP and some with less than 99 in their melee stats, so it does fluctuate across bots. Let's say they're botting 16 hours per day, meaning they've been here for roughly 100 days. They've made 1.2 bill each, or around 12 mil per day. 1.2 bill is roughly $250 if real world traded, so $2.50 per day per bot. It sounds relatively little, but it is on a per bot basis. 10 bots is $25 per day. 100 bots is $250 per day, but the risk of detection and ban increases with the number of bots, leading to higher costs and time invested. So the botter faces an interesting economic trade-off in expansion versus detection. And eventually, the marginal benefit of adding a bot and gaining that $2.50 per day is outweighed by the added probability that the group of bots will be banned, losing time, membership cost, and trained accounts. I wonder how much botters consider this. I would guess some actually consider it a lot, and it's probably the explanation for why this bot farm is not that big. I only found 10 accounts, which would earn roughly 120 mil per day. That's all for today. Make sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to give Ghostface a shout out in the comments, and I'll see y'all soon.